All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Has Been Heroes. So if you're wondering why we're back in the start menu, it's because my last last run got completely lost. All the uh, I recorded for about an hour, and all of my commentary was <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's gone. Anyway, I did learn an interesting new thing: lightning and poison are incredible together. So we're going to be messing around with the dwarf and the luchador. Uh, because they quite possibly might be one of the strongest combos I've ever seen. Anyway, on hit, recharge a random spell by two seconds, immunity to poison. Okay, immunity to poison is going to be useful. Is Luchador immune to lightning? The answer is no. But Luchador is amazing. Anyway, also, uh, Dwarf is a little bit more useful for a couple of reasons. One, using a buff on the whole party. Buffs your whole party. So he has that too. Uh, as well as her. And so that means filling out him fast is equally useful. And it frees up the uh, rogue a little bit, or also opens it up so we can actually have two people using party-wide buffs. Anyway, beyond that, uh... Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this with, uh... Without a candle or two, and I don't I don't want to waste them early. So let's let's just mess around. We'll, we'll get this working. Or we won't, I'm not sure. Okay. So... Right... Up, down, around, loop. Either we burn a candle, or... Yeah, either we burn a candle or we just ignore. So, right... Oh, no, we can take an even more ludicrous route. So we go right, all the way up, right, down, right, up. All the way to the right, down, left, down, left, down, right, up, right. And boss. Okay. So we can do this. That's good. And hopefully we can get some spells along the way. Because I've been having a good time with them lately. Anyway. So now that we've done this. Let's start winning. Uh, let's switch these guys around. Wait until lightning punch is back. I love lightning punch. Is so good. Is so good. Okay. I had a pretty good run going last time. But there's no... I... There's no recovering it. Not to mention I did lose to stupid reasons. I freaking died to a candle. Or lacking one. I'm just going to poison that guy. Oh, whoa. So the poison just hits everybody. Well, that's super handy. I mean, it hits my own guys, so being poison immune might actually be a reasonably good idea here. Well... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I mean, luckily the dwarf himself is immune to poison, so that's that's kind of a nice little perk. So the uh, the most vulnerable of all of my characters will uh, will not be too big of a victim here. I'm just gonna poison the guy in the back for a second. Punch him. Hit that guy around for no no other reason than I don't like his face. Okay. Switch. Yeah, the rogue does okay damage. Normally I'd do this another way, but honestly, nah. We'll be fine. We, reminder to self, we also have lightning punch. Even if it feels a bit excessive. That's okay. Oh right, I could have, I could have done, uh, I could have done a follow-up punch. Sorry, playing as the, uh, playing with the golem, has thrown me off my game a little bit. A lot, honestly. And that's okay. Yeah. So if we can get the luchador poison immunity, that would probably save me uh, a fair amount of trouble. Okay, so we do have an altar. We do have a cartographer. Obviously, we're going cartographer. First, let's see if we get that crazy bronze map again. The answer is no. It's chests. Well, that's useful. Okay. Let's see. So what are we looking at? Camp and a merchant common. Well, we're going to loop up past the camp. I guess I'll rest if uh, if only because we have it available. It'd be nice if uh, you'd actually pick up the tent. Like, uh, it'd be nice if, uh, if, if you didn't need the camp, you could actually bring it with you. As a, uh, as like a, a mobile healing thing. 
Okay, so what do we got? Ooh. Pill immunity to fire damage. Uh, I'm gonna give it to the rogue. Okay, yep, we still have enough money. The immunity to fire damage is super useful. Okay, item gambler is a bit risky. What item is it? It's a poison bomb. Okay, chance after melee combo, bomb is thrown at target. It explodes for 40 fire damage after 5 seconds. Okay, well that was absolutely worth it across the board. So now we've got a nice little bonus move there. Okay, so let's switch, pull back. Let's do double hit on him, thunder punch on him. Okay, so he comes back, he gets another hit. He gets four hits. And she goes to town. Okay, life is life is working out. Um, let's see, move, move. Yeah, that bomb is going to be handy. Not as good as that uh, crazy thing we had last time, but I'll I'll take it. Okay, probably should just keep the uh, rogue here. Oh, that's okay. Uh. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to worry about the poison damage to some degree here. Just because that is actively going to become an issue. If we're lucky we can find a number of items that uh that solve the problem. Okay, so if I do that and he freezes them, perfect. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the damage yet. Well, I kind of am. Hopefully we'll just be able to get a, an amount of healing items that will just be able to offset the issue. Okay. So I'll chuck some poison at that guy. I'm not entirely sure how vertical... Uh... How vertical, uh... Poison transference works? Probably doesn't work so great. I have no idea. Okay. Could have done that better, maybe. He's probably gonna just die from the poison. No, he didn't die from the poison. Okay. Oh, that's fine. And cool, he does not, uh... Actually... I'm just gonna stun him there for a second. There we go. Poison! Eh, we'll be fine. I don't think we're going to need the lightning punch for anything. Not at this stage in the game. Okay. And just throw her here. Yeah, unfortunately, a little bit inefficient how we're going about things, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about our chances here. Alright, seeing as I've got an extra, let's just, uh, let's just 12 hit combo this guy. I don't know if you get extra stuff. For 12 hitting an enemy. I'm curious about that one, actually. It'd be lovely to know. Anyway, hi. Uh. Fine. I was tempted to. I was tempted to do things, but it didn't work out. That's okay. Sorry. Brain is. Brain is not. Not here anymore. Was. Was having a great day and. I don't know, just losing losing multiple recordings always kind of sours stuff a little bit. Especially when it was a good run. Even if the run didn't, uh, you know, finish off the way I wanted it to. That's okay. I just realized this, um, this spell does flat damage and percent based damage, I think. I will have to, uh, utilize that in the future. Because, or not percent based ban uh, damage. Uh, it it's a it's it has a damage over time effect. So that means I can um. That means I can use it in some kind of nasty ways. Oh well, I dig it. I like the idea of a. Uh, I I like the idea of a uh, a character. 
or maybe not a character, but a, um... Uh, I like the idea of the dwarf now. I was originally kind of meh about him, but I think, I think he's kind of made his case. Especially now that I know that there's a proper elemental combo that we haven't actually, um, we haven't actually exploited in the slightest. But, eh, whatever. Okay. Unfortunately, it's still kind of biding our time here. Uh... Just gonna boost him up, even if it seems a little bit unnecessary. Okay, uh... Have a poison. I really wish I could actually take a look at the damage right here and now. Well, whatever it is. He's good. And, hey, he manages to transfer the poison. Yes! Yeah, if we can actually get some, um, setups that actually, um... Oh, this is just... A... Blank... It's... Huh. Okay, it's a a spell vendor of every variety. Okay, what do we end up with? The answer is Thunder Bomb. Well, that's actually really good on him. Sort of? Okay, so this is the interesting question. Uh, so Lightning Bomb actually is really good on both Luchador and the Dwarf, because the Dwarf gets bonus AoE versus Lightning Arcs further. Maybe I should have gotten it on the... Um, Maybe I should add whatever. We'll be fine. Anyway, we get two chests. I don't have any keys. We've got two lock chests around the other way. Well, let's see if we get lucky here. We get a key. Okay, well. Life is... Life is different. What's the altar? Okay, this is a good one. Um, I'm gonna have her go for it. I don't know what this one does. 200 gold. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's worth it. Alright, uh, now let's figure out what we're gonna do. Okay. Had to... We're gonna pause. We're gonna poison that guy. We're gonna lightning punch. Zappo. Okay. Got him down a little bit. The only worry is... Oh, shoot. Squandered it. Unfortunately, these other guys are getting a little bit too close for comfort. So I'm gonna have to start working on them instead. Might actually just have the Luchador take the hit. Nope. We don't need to take the hit. We got real close, though. I'm gonna have her wait here. We're just gonna knock him... We're just gonna knock him back for a moment until we can stun him. That was, uh... That was sketchy. For, uh, for a moment there. We're okay, though. Have some poison. Okay. Yeah, don't have to worry so much. I've got the, uh, I've got the combo. Alright. Let's do double punch. There's not much I can do here, so I'm just gonna work on this guy. Did somebody just explode? I have no idea if somebody just exploded over here. There's like a weird... Oh, yeah. Weird. I have no idea what caused that. Okay. Shoot. Oh. It did get poisoned. <sighs> Screwed that one up. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to work the Thunder Bomb in a little bit better uh, than it currently is. Might have actually been better to get that on the uh, the Luchador. I was just... I'm, I'm hoping that I can get some of these, because if I can get the, the Wind knockback bonus, plus a couple other things. We'll be in a really solid position. Just gonna do that. I have no idea what that was. There we go. Ah, sneak attacks actually do a fair amount of damage. 
Like, that was 36. Maybe it's, uh, it's probably percent based. Though, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, that's okay. Okay, and this guy's out of stamina, but we good. Yeah, that bomb is super handy. Okay, so we only have one chat. Uh, we only have one key unless we get really lucky here. Okay, eeny meeny miny, I don't know this one. And we get dynamite. Uh. Okay, with. This. Okay, crit chance and burn effects last two times longer. Okay. I mean, that's good. That's got some interesting perks. I would have liked to open up the other chest, but we don't have the... we don't have a choice. Okay. So, let's see. 40% faster spell recharge. Okay, so I can pick up everything. I'm not sure about Strange Blob. I think I'll give that a pass. I'm gonna give the dwarf... Uh, faster spell recharge. Mainly because uh, being able to spit poison at people left and right seems really useful. Okay, melee charge and melee damage. So that's good for him. And we're gonna leave the other item. Uh, I need my money. Mainly I just, I don't need that effect. I don't drop stamina that fast and it's not a build I want to center around. Okay, so we're up against generic McSkull face. Makes this a tad easier. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna toss poison back there. I'm gonna toss a bomb back there. I messed up. Well, that's okay. Shoot, I really messed up. Yeah, I forgot. I was too busy looking at the other stuff. Eh, it's fine. We're fine. I just messed up a bit. It happens. Okay. While we're at it, let's toss some poison at him. Yeah, he is poisonable. Well, that's handy. Okay, so we just want her to go in. And then the dwarf again. At least that poison damage doesn't hurt so bad on, uh, on my own characters. Normally it's a bit of a a worrisome situation. But I guess we're okay. Alright, now let's send this out. Well, alright. Did that? That killed him! Sweet bomb! Alright, and we don't get as many uh, souls as we could have, but that's okay. We'll live. Alright, feeling better about this run so far. Let's see, so we do have one key. Um... Hmm... Well, we we want to go up. So up, right, down, right, down, and around. So loop, so up, right, down, 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 right, down, down, maybe. Depends on what it is. Candle, right, chest, up, right, and uh, no matter what, we miss out on two. Maybe more. I'll do my best. Okay, so, well, we might as well utilize this opportunity for a moment. Start slamming this guy back. I guess I'll send a bomb this direction. Yeah, that works. Uh, let's have him go here, him go here. Alright, life is good. Yeah, the bomb will take some getting used to, but the poison... Uh, the poison should solve a lot of my problems. Because previously, uh... Previously, we kind of ran into issues. Uh... With the, uh, with the bombs, just because I didn't have, like, a good system for, uh, for getting rid of them. 
uh, for popping them. But if I send uh, if I send a bomb directly at a group of poisoned enemies, it's gonna pop, mostly. Okay, so the unfortunate part is the uh, the dwarf is no better than the bard right now, which ain't great. It'll be fine. Okay, yeah, let's let's test this. Oh, he's immune. All right, screw it. Blow it up in his face. It does tons of damage. It's part of the reason why I'm like down with it. It's just like, well, this thing's going to destroy enemies if I send it in correctly. So I'll just call that close enough. Okay. Dupe that and smack this guy around. We really should probably... Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. I gotta remember, Thunder Punching is probably one of the better uses of my stamina here. God, Thunder Punching is amazing. It, uh... It does horrible things to enemies. Which is beautiful. Is there even an enemy left up there? No idea. Oh, that's okay. I guess I'll send a bomb at him. Either he dies from poison, or he dies from bomb. I don't know if we have an enemy coming up. Okay, well, battle clear. Oh, was the... Was the bomb holding the battle back? It might have been. That's funny. Okay, smart cap. As 100% a her item. But I guess we don't have as many perks this time around. Okay, so that's empty. Well, I'll open it up. We get the book. Book is crit chance and on kill fire damage to nearby enemies. I'm going to give it to him. The crit chance will be useful and sort of useful, but mainly uh, on kill 40 fire damage to nearby enemies. Like, that's. That is literally built for him. Okay. Well, we're at it. Send this out. Uh. That's the stuff. Well, that works. And watch me never kill anything with a luchador ever again. Eh, nah, that's not gonna happen. Luchador is too cool for that. Yeah. I think we're I think we're in a fine position for eh, Let's do this. I'll save the Thunder Punch for the next next round on this guy. Mainly because there we go. Okay. Now we do Thunder Punch. I really love how effective that is. Just wailing on an enemy over and over and over again. I don't know. It is just too perfect. And screw that up. Eh, whatever. If I do that, it doesn't poison the other guy. Eh. It's unfortunate. Gotta start working on getting his stamina net down. Unfortunately, uh... Oh, whoops. Did things wrong again. Get real good at that. Okay. No, we wanna... Okay, so we wanna hit. Switch. Hit. That's the trick. Okay, then we stun this guy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna poison him. And whammo. That's... Yep, that's what we needed. Look at how the guy's, guy in the back hasn't even uh, come in contact with my group yet. He's just kind of there. <laughs> and bad things are happening to him all around. It's it's good. Okay, let's oh, let's wait for her to come back. Let's do let's let's quad punch this guy. The sooner he's out of my face, the better. And we're good. Holy crap, the range on that explosion uh, covers all three lanes. I was not aware. Well, that has some uses. Okay, so let's poison these guys. And let's thunder punch him. Technically, thunder punching is supposed to spread poison, but since it's just these two guys... Uh, uh Oh, 
Are they both dead? Yeah, they're both dead. Hey. Okay. Oh, we have a locksmith. We have the money for it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Please have the skeleton key. They have the skeleton key. That was kind of a sticking point with the last round. Okay, so this is an incredibly wealthy run. Oh, I really wish I could see what, what's directly below me, but that's okay. Uh, let's just thunder punch this guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Let's see. Switch him around, and we good. I'm going to definitely need to boost his damage a little bit. I'm not... Well, maybe. I don't know. It's not that I'm not getting kills with him. I am. Okay, so we're going to hit the Thunder Bomb. Holy crap, that does damage. Like, that is... That is not a small amount of destruction to be made here. Alright, I'll just toss poison at him. We're good. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. I'd made a promise about this. Uh, you guys can probably hear my controller a heck of a lot more this... Oh, hi. Uh, this time around. I mean, you're probably still going to be able to hear it. Unfortunately, the Pro Controller is a fair bit noisier than the, uh, the little, like, Joy-Con uh, color things. Uh, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Okay. I'm going to toss poison their way. Eh. I'll just hit him. He's probably going to get moved back fairly quick anyway. What? Oh, he got poisoned because we were poisoned. Whoops. Unfortunately, I... Th to some degree, I think you guys are always going to be able to hear the pro controller over my own. Some... Something I re really wish I could control more. Maybe someday I'll get a Steam controller, but I guess that really wouldn't uh, have much of a, an effect on... Uh, that wouldn't have much of an effect on a Nintendo Switch game. I guess I could have actually gotten this on PC. Technically, I do have it on PC. I just never use it there because playing on Switch first. Okay, so we've got Merchant Common with three items and three chests. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna waste a ca candle for three common items. If I can boost some resistances or um okay. So we got to think about these things. So, immunity to lightning. Uh 10% faster spell recharge, 20% chance after melee combo. Next melee attack deals 20 damage. Okay, immunity to lightning. So let's get that on her. Okay, melee damage. I mean, need lightning. Okay. 20 chance after melee combo. Next melee damage deals 20 lightning damage and immunity to lightning. Um. You know, I'm going to get that on the dwarf. It does seem like a good idea to just be loading some of these items on. We've got a ton of money here, so I'm being a little bit wasteful. Uh, but we've already got the skeleton key. We're stacking immunities like crazy, which is good. Um, if I can get fire and, and poison... I mean, honestly, if I can stack as many immunities as possible on my guys, that'd be great. Okay, so we get a water spell vendor. Alright, might get this on the thief. I, I, I'm gonna get this on the Thief. Pretty much no matter what. This would have been even better. Okay, so this is Water Strike. Buff next melee combo. Deal 75% water damage and soak the target. Yeah, so that might have actually almost been better if we had gotten Lightning Bomb on the Rogue. Okay, it's fine. So, I could do this Spell Vendor if I really wanted to. Or, let's just head for the lightning spell vendor. I don't know what, what we're up, up, up against? No. I don't know what we're gonna get. Hopefully it's amazing. I don't know what that does. Well, I guess the luchador gets overload after 10 seconds. Oh, okay, so this is like meteor. Okay, yeah, that's pretty dang good on the luchador. 
And let's head for the boss. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied. We've got tons of... We got tons of money. Oh, it's the... It's the trio. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start with an overload in there. Um... We gotta start hammering this guy down. Okay. So we gotta do Thunder Punch. They stay stunned for a while, actually. Okay, I'm gonna poison him. We're gonna send out a bomb, actually. Over here. Timed that a little poorly. That's okay. That's the stuff. Okay, wait, did I just... Did I just kill the boss? Holy crap, I just destroyed that boss. The combination... effects... are absurd. Alright. Well, this got really easy. I mean, we still have to deal with this guy. But, like, whatever. Because all we have to do is lightning punch him. And I'm just going to wait. Eh, let's wait for a moment longer. He's going to stay, stay stunned for a decent amount of time. We are... We're in an incredibly good position. Like... Dang. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the fastest clear I've ever had on that boss. Okay, so yeah, there might have there might have been something useful to the right in that one section, but there's just there's no way I could have done anything about it. Okay, and I've already picked out a nice path here. Okay, so we're going to go up all the way around and loop it. Oh, this will this will be good. Okay. So I'm going to drop an overload. I'm going to drop that. We're going to Lightning Punch that guy, which actually does not trigger what I wanted it to trigger, but that's fine. We're going to freeze him. Still not triggering what I wanted it to trigger, but that's okay. Okay, then I'm going to send out Lightning Bomb there. Do the water combo. Well, I missed. Sort of. It's okay. Okay. So I think we're still in a fairly good position. I'm just going to knock that guy back a bit. Cue it up. Okay. Eh, let's poison the zombie. They're always kind of jerks. They just take too much time to, uh... To take down otherwise. Nice part is because I got this water sword, uh, we're gonna be able to buff everybody's damage. So even if the uh even if the dwarf is not exactly having the best of times, we'll be okay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave her here. I don't even know who we're hitting necessarily. We're just hitting people. And it worked, actually. That that worked incredibly well. Yes. Okay. Life is good. I'm I'm always expecting these runs to go m like far worse than they actually do, and then they don't, and then it just feels good. Okay, what are we gonna do? I guess I'm gonna toss another bomb here. I wish the bombs moved a little bit faster, honestly. Okay, a little bit. A little bit more. Yep, that was effective. And now everybody's poisoned. Okay. I'm a little bit leery about doing anything, because... Like, we're about to kill some of these guys. So it's kind of just like, well, do we bother? Uh, let's see. Do a Thunder Punch on him, switch, bring him back. Oh, interesting. If you switch lanes, it actually... Uh, if you switch lanes, it actually breaks the exploit. 
Well, that's good to know. Yeah, there's an exploit uh, where you can repeatedly uh, turbo punch people with the uh, with the luchador and his lightning punch, which is kind of ridiculous. And I don't know if they're just not committed to fixing it or if they think it's a it's a nice combination and they just don't care. I'm not sure, but apparently, if you uh, switch lanes, it actually breaks the uh, it breaks the exploit. Not that it really matters. Just something that I've noticed a couple of times here. I guess I'm just gonna hit him with a double water. Eh. It's not as powerful as I thought it was going to be, and that's okay. Okay, so we get a frost spell vendor. Wow. Well, let's let's see what it is. It could be a buff. It could be useless. It could be Ice Wave. Okay, Area Frost Damage. Um... Resist targets for three seconds. I'm actually gonna get it on him. Mainly so we can just charge up his attacks. And actually, looking at it now, this is a great stopping point. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Has Been Heroes. And as always, thanks for watching.